Hello, this is Daddy, also Games, and uh, I'm here with part three of my Kingdom Deliverance series, where I am saved. I am saved by, well, I'm actually the damsel in distress. So, uh, with no further ado, we're gonna go straight into the action and dive in to one more exciting episode. So, uh, let's go for it. So we, we found the entrance to the city, which is somewhere here, and I am so stupid that I went all around it and came here. Sorry, here. It was, so we got fixed, come somewhere here, I went all around it, and you should go straight there. Don't make the same mistake I did, because all of the entrances are blocked. I don't know why I feel the need to make sure that I have my my sword out. You didn't run like me. I thought I'd get a sword in the mm. See what's happening here. What's this? Loot. <gasps> oh, hello! <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. So so Ooh, salami. Energy. I don't... Is it expensive? No, really. Salt was kind of commodity back then, wasn't it? And dry meat. That lasts a long time. I want that. Sorry about that, sir. Here we go. This is going to be heartbreaking for sure. <clears throat> so I found them. And... Why did you do it to me, Father? What? Crap, this is, this is heavy. Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. I'm going to skip this. This is so heavy. I kind of know what happens here. So, what happens is, uh, we, we found him. I, we're going to f have to find a spade, which is, um, well, to make a hole, and to bury them in. Something's happening here. Oh, the guy has a spade. The guy has a spade. So I can just talk to him and uh, ask him for the spade. Oh, he asks, what, what is the dog doing? Uh, the dog is, is, is protecting his master, and I'm going to accuse him of looting Seems corpses, so he feels exactly bad and goes. You. Shame on you. you. care what I'm doing? I want to bury Thank my parents. So bury them and leave. Oh. Would you lend me that spade? I have to... What's it worth to you? I see you. Oh, here's what I'm going to do. Fine. I'm going to stick this okay, sword up your... You can have the sword. No, I'm not going to say it. You can have it right up your ass. <laughs> yes. You think you can talk that way just because you've got a sword? Yes. Bullshit. I don't know much about sword fighting. So it's me. I'll knock your teeth in then. Hmm? Wait, what? Again fighting. <laughs> so we're fighting this guy. Jesus yeah, I know. You can call me Daddy. Also, games. Well, I'm getting better at this. I'm getting better at this. I should shut up. I should shut up every time I feel good about myself. I should really shut up. There you go. Boom. Ba. And uh, now, the fight is on! Oh, 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 oh. Yes! Easy there, boy. No, no. Easy there. Oh, he's talking to the dog. Absolutely no dodging. Nothing. Full on, like a real man taking it in the... Oh, crap. 
Oh, again! I think I'm going to take my sword out and just Come and on, just man. cut him open. Oh, this is very painful to watch. This guy is very good. Or I am very bad fighting. That could also be the case. What if I take my run? <laughs> That's right. Leave. Turn tail and run, you bastard. Hey, get out of here, you creepy old guy. Well, anyway. Oh, I'm encumbered. Oh, I already robbed him, everything out of him. So I'll leave you there. I'll leave you to him. Well, I have a spade. I am um, actually carrying a lot of weight, but I am not prepared to part ways with whatever gear that I have. So I'm going to go to my parents. We're going to go to our house, which is surprisingly healthy, I have to say, and uh, find a place which is, I, I, I think it's under that tree, because he said about something about a tree. That's, that's a, I will just assume that that's the one. And if it's not, well, they're dead. They won't be able to... to, to that's just wrong. This but, is a good place. Yes. See? I'm going to like it here. Yes. I'm going to like it. They're dead. But anyway. Ooh, start digging. So a new cutscene's coming, and we're going to try and pick up our father and our mother. And uh, let's see how that goes. Oh, by the way, yes. What happens was... I'm going to stop it here. What happens was, while we were trying to pick up mom and dad, this dude come along, and they're friends with the guy that I was beating. And I ran out of patience, draw my sword on him, drew my sword on him, and he went for his friends. And now this guy, who has a ginormous stick... Hmm, that sounds weird is going to try and beat me. He won't be able to because I'm getting really good at this. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. I, I, have, I am speechless. I am... Apparently I'm not as good as I thought. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. Wait, 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 wait. This is I, nice work. Chief is going to like it. <laughs> it's new, isn't it? <sighs> now, for the maiden bloodletting. <sighs> Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. <sighs> I believe there's a word for such moments. <sighs> the old man would certainly know. <sighs> but I'm just a common kid. This is going to be the shortest game in the history of did time. Did you make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. What? <laughs> uh, uh, lady, I don't think you're missing some... Some fighting apparel. Ooh, look at that! Yes! I'm out. Yes, well, it is a flashback. In this flashback, we're going to try and save our parents all over again. And it doesn't happen anything. Uh, we're just going to wake up in that fine lady, Tanya, was it? We were looking at her need some help. cloth. Some more deja vus and uh, flashbacks thingies. And we're going to wake up. It takes a long time. Uh, I'm gonna skip all of them. It takes a long time. We wake up, we fall asleep, we wake up, we fall asleep, we wake up, we fall asleep, and then we recover eventually. And as we recover, um, she explains that we're in another city, another town, and uh, we're supposed to to well, start living our life actually. So let's see how where this leads us. Uh, again, yes. Morning. Oh. The beating. I'm going to escape this. So she saved our life. We recovered. Uh, here we are looking at her cloth again. 
and um, we're starving, and uh, we have a couple of missions or objectives that we can uh, we can follow. I'm gonna eat first and foremost, and now I am well. I am nice and healthy. I'm gonna go outside, and I'm going to try and do something with my life. Hey, I think. Youngster, come here. Well, that's that's the first. I'm gonna have to talk to him, obviously. So, Miller is the guy, the father from that father, I think. Yeah. Thanks for My taking care Henry. of me. He's not happy. My name's. Pe and it's he says I have to repay him. I see. You won't. If you look, couldn't I just? He wants me to pay I'd for the herbs. <laughs> um. I'm going to tell him I have no money, Thank and he's going to tell me that I have to, uh, well, do some some work for him. That sounds straightforward. Oh, don't. No honourable man. Did you expect? He wants me to to go and for just about anything, but that's a bit dig up some dead bodies and get some stuff out of them. Still a human. So I'll do it. I think I'll. If there's it. Thank. Our. I got schnapps. What the hell? Get that man's ring. So. Dead spade, he told me there was a dead spade, uh, a dead spade, get a spade somewhere here. So I'm going to get a spade. I got it. He told me to go and get my stuff. So I'm going to get my stuff that is here. Oh my God. Ooh, hallelujah. Here we go. I'm going to get all of them. Yes, I'm going to get the whole, a lot. Now. I'm going to equip everything and then I'm going to go on my way. So here it is. I got all the equipment and I'm, I'm now uh, too heavy. But I'm going to try and sell this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find a merchant. And I will eventually go on my way to find uh, the guy that I'm supposed to unbury. I got to the city. Took me a long time because well, I'm carrying too you? much weight. Where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Thwaites. Of I want to give him a sword. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. Oh. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? I may not look the part. All right, then. So he lets me in the city, that's a good thing. And I am so heavy that I can't run. So the first thing I have to do is I try to get rid of some of the stuff that I have. But I need to find a merchant here. This looks like it's a weaponsmith because it says on the door, weaponsmith. Haha! -ha. Ooh, hello, sir. I reckon you're the bodyguard, aren't you? You're the bodyguard. You're making sure I don't steal all of this. I'm not going to steal. I'm actually going to sell something. Sir! I need to have a talk with you. My respects to you, sir. Oh, uh, my respects to you. Right back. I uh, don't care about re repairs. I will do it in a bit. But first, I want to sell some stuff. I want to sell the needle, which is something I'm not going to use at the basket. The sex. I want to sell some sex. Um, nope, that's it. Uh, I'm also going to sell the bodish. Because I like swords. I don't like... Hammers or uh, axes, whatever the hell that is. So that's that's what we sell. So we should get ooh, 91. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna haggle and try to get 95 because I'm a beast. Can we do something about the price? Yes, we can. Sure. Of course. Why not? Why not? That's a good day. Um, let's do 95, shall we? What do you what do you say about that? 95. A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. Mm, not 95. We'll go to 93. I'm pretty sure 93 will go. See now. I knew we'd come to an agreement. Ah, <laughs> 93 coins. I am rich. I am so rich that I'm going to try and repair my sword. Look at this. I have a lot of stuff. <gasps> 58? It will take me 58 to repair? Oh my... No, it's okay. It's actually a good sword. I don't like that. That's okay. Bye-bye. I can wash myself. Look, look, look. 
That was remarkably disappointing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Leave me be. Could that be the Smith's son? On my soul. I must speak with Sir Oh, basically, I'm doing the, the wrong mission. What an no. idiot. Of I'm going to Sir Hmm. I'm doing the wrong mission, gentlemen and ladies. I am going to Sir Radzik. That's it. The other mission should be there somewhere on the map. West. Ah, what the heck. I'm already here, so might as well. I'm pretty sure he's here. If I were Sir... What not? What, what's his name? I what would be here. What? Hey. I'm trying to go through. Damn. He's not here. What is it? Well, just move out of the Jesus, way, sir. You Thank you for opening the door for hey. me. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. It sounded uh, very weird. What? Oh God! <laughs> hey! Ah. Is this your? Mm, I don't think I should be here. I? I don't. I look. I oh, maybe I should go all the way up. Ha ha ha! Here he is! Ha! Got him! Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. I wouldn't expect it to talk Don't like Don't you this agree? Man. I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanuk. <laughs> I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Birkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Rate, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Birkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk... That's why he... What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Be that as it may, he isn't... So, you'd like to enter my service. I am now at the service of Sir Ratzik. So I'm going to go to Pickstein, whatever the, that name is. And I'm going to... I, I don't remember, but I think I'm going to have to train or something. So I'm going to have to train now. Go to... Yes! Go to the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. So let's go to the map. And... Right over there is where we need to go. So right over there is where we're going. I'm gonna be walking all the way there. Nice shield you got there. I I have been. Um, I was very surprised with how alive these towns are, and how well built they were. And I came across the information that these are actually extremely accurate, historically speaking, towns. Because they hired, go figure, don't, don't know why, but they did. They hired someone, an histor history specialist or whatnot. Historian, I reckon that's how they call. And they hired him to make things as uh, historically accurate as possible. So everything that you see here would correspond, more or less, to... Uh, the actual cities and towns and, and castles and and wardrobes and whatnot of the time. Don't know how excited you are about that. Me, for some nerdy reason, I get very excited about that. I think that this puddle might be historically accurate also. That's me regretting instantly what I just said. Ha ha! I am here! And again... No one is here for me. I'm going to have to wait for him, I think. And when he pops up, I'll, I'll be back. In the words of Arnie. So, uh, 
that's it. We're gonna have to wait. So while we're waiting, we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna close down the episode here. And the next episode will be coming in anytime soon. So this is Daddy Also Games saying goodbye until next time. Hope you had as much fun as I did. See ya!